Hello everybody and welcome to another Let's Try. I'm Neg Primer and we are jumping into Sunless Sea. Sunless Sea. Uh, the reason we picked this game is because it's free this weekend and uh, I can't really debate that price. So <clears throat> this is a game that's been on my wish list. Uh, it is something I've been interested in. For a while, uh, I saw a Let's Play of it quite some time ago, uh, so I'm not entirely sure how much I'll even remember, but let's go ahead and jump in. Long periods at Z will drive your crew and you insane with your at C. Why is it called Z? Okay, so there's a lot of reading involved in this. Three decades ago, in the reign of Victoria, London. Oh, in the reign of Victoria, London was stolen by bats. Now it lies a mile below the surface. It was dreadfully inconvenient for everyone, but the but it opened a vast black ocean to you. Welcome to the Unter Untersee. That's weird. Why is it like German? Uh, kind of pseudo germanish choose a past decide who you were and what you want to be or you can decide later but let's go ahead and do this we might as well go ahead and set up the whole thing decide who you were and what you want to be where do you hang your hat in london we now lodge in a room above the blind helmsman okay so who were we now that you're a captain now you belong to the Unterzee. But who were you before? Street urchin. Your urchin gang cast you out when you grew too tall. You look you took to the sea rather than graduate to larger crimes. That last big score was enough to buy a ship. Uh, so this will give a bonus to veals, the skill subtlety, and evasion. Um, I don't think I'm gonna read all the flavor text on this so a poet actually will hmm. poet gives you a bonus to pages the skill of trickery and knowledge veteran of campaign of 68 gives you a bonus to iron causing direct damage uh ordained priest give you a bonus to hearts the skill of healing and morale Philosopher, skill of mirrors, skill of detection and perception. I think I'm actually going to do subtlety and evasion, trickery and knowledge, direct damage, healing, or detection and perception. All right, well, let's start off with a veteran. We're just going to start off by slamming shit. <laughs> We're going to hit everything as hard as we can. Certain and exacting. So let's go ahead and read this flavor. Uh, you, fought the, you fought in the invasion of hell. London's armies lost. You survived. Your loot and pension have bought you a command. So stern and exacting. They will not trifle with you. You promised a job to your acquaintance, the Shady Cook. He'll do until you find someone less disgusting. Ah. <laughs> Talk to him to find out why he went to Z. So he gained 25 iron, 1 cook, 20 echo. So I have 70. I have 50 iron now, 70 echo. Um... Echo. Echo's currency. And then I have 50 iron. Ugh. It's a little bit hard to tell since their icons don't match up. You are you were a weedery soldier, now you're Z captain. You're a stranger quality has gone. Welcome to the world. So choose an ambition. What is weaning meaning, you, meaning to you? Uh, so we're going after our father's bones. Uh, we are trying to just explore. 
uh, wealth is we want a mansion, uh, or, okay, a private kingdom, so we want to create a utopia, so are we on a voyage to return our father's bones? Write a map. Are we explore? Just uh, uh, let's. Okay, let's. Uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Let's do the just exploration. We're just here for the stories. Uh, when you're, whenever you return to Fallen London, you have your option of retiring, but you'll need to write your masterwork first. Your objective ambition quality is now to become London's most venerated explorer. So our ends. So this is our end condition: is to to write a novel. <laughs> this is kind of weird. Uh, last scrapped paperwork, Captain Captain, an irregularity with the harbor master's office. They wish to know what term of address do you prefer ashore. Uh, this will determine what people call your captain, but your captain's gender is up to you. That's kind of stupid. That seems like some modern day... I don't know, it's weird because it's... I guess they're under sea, so what's the harm? But I, I, I have a problem with games not being true to their world. Uh, I don't mind a game where, you know, you can be called Madame, but you're still a man. I don't mind that. As long as it's true to the world, but if you're talking about the 1800s, I don't think that's likely. Uh, citizen, my lord. Captain. Just call me Captain. So pick your pronoun kind of thing. Uh, Captain. Uh, Captain, that is the last piece of advice. Explore, take chances. This captain will probably die. The Z is hungry. But each captain passes on lessons to the next. So I picked... Captain. So now I can choose my name. And we're just gonna go... Of course. Uh, and I can pick a portrait. Which, I guess that's just a college laureate. Uh, let's see. That top row is all the female options, it looks like. She has tentacles for hair. The dark brooding one. I think I'm just gonna do a salty old sea captain. Alright, so this is... Fallen London is where we are. Fallen London, deep, dark, and marvelous. All voyage starts here. This is where successful voyages end. London, she's the greatest in city in the undersea, and don't you forget it. Uh, so the Admiralty Survey Office will pay for more information. Oh, whoa, okay. <laughs> uh, uh, the Admiralty's picket fleets and intelligent networks are long gone. Survey and office pays the captains a small sum of, of recent information. I'm just going to say C whenever it says Z. I feel stupid saying that. <laughs> uh, visit investigate ports to gain port reports. Really? And trade them in here. The first time you trade in a port report, you'll gain an admiralty's favor. Uh, ask if there's anything in particular they need. Well, if we can be assured of your discretion. So let's talk to them. This port. Speak to our agent there in return and we'll see that you're awarded. Visit the port below and return to London. You can check the details in your journal at any time. Receive, retrieve strategic information from Gators Morn in the Corsairs Forest, somewhere not far from home waters. Ask to speak to a higher authority. 
once you've proven yourself, perhaps. Leave the Admiralty. You don't have anything else for us. Done. Out on the foggy street, turn your collar up. Okay. So that was all the Admiralty's thing. There's also a university that is locked to us right now. Uh, Carus in Wolfstock Docks. A Carus, I actually am not familiar with that term, but I'm assuming it means just walk around the docks. Hire on more crew. So I can hire on more crew. Um, a low risk challenge. Your heart's quality gives you an 81% chance. Okay. Uh, put ship in dry dock, offer passage to a tomb colonist. They want to go to Venderbright. So we have a tomb colonist. Okay. The tomb colonies are a specific thing. Ooh, okay. Crew. Uh, crew? This is crew. We have we have 10 sailors. We lost 30 echo. Okay, I'm not sure what I just did there. But uh, we have... I think we have everything we can really do here. Uh, so our lodgings, the much lamented M... On endings and beginnings. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. Tutorial. Click the launch button to leave port. So this is our ship right here. Wasid. Okay. A and D cures. And I believe there's something bad that comes around by going over these really dark areas. Okay, and then there's a map. Yeah, there's a map. Okay. Most icons have keyboard shortcuts. Mouse over to see them. So there's map. Gazetteer. Journal. Uh, so Admiralty, Gators Morn and Corsairs Forest, and somewhere not far from home waters. Objectives and story over here. It says objectives and story progress are on the right hand side. Move over an icon or click the category heading to see details. So I think that's. And they want to go to Venderbright, which is somewhere to the north. What happens if I come close to these boats? Uh... Stuff... what? A lamp icon will appear above the log book. Hold on. What? Hold on. When you see green running lights on the crew, we're in the dark. And our terror will increase. Watch the pips in the terror indicator. Engine, hunger, terror. See green landing lights on the crew. I don't know, is it talking about this? Hunter's Keep. 
Okay, how do we dock? Oh, we probably have to go around to the dock. So our terror increases... This control is a little weird because you use Wasset, but you're only controlling whether you turn left or right. Uh, don't let your terror reach 100. Okay, to visit this port, click the dock button. On the horizon, a sickly yellow light glimmers for a moment and then fades. Let's dark. Let's dock. So, Hunter's Keep here. They will present yourself at the house. Walk in the gardens. Reconnoitre. Well, I mean, let's go ahead and just say hello. Uh, so, made with smoldering topaz eyes, shows you into the parlor where three young women wait. A visitor, the youngest cries. The next youngest chuckles, the eldest sighs. Do excuse the indecorum, she said. Visitors are rare. You are very welcome. I'm Cynthia. The noisy one is Phoebe, the cherry one is Lucy. You're in good time for lunch. Will you join us? Um, whoa, hold on, what? So, I can have lunch... with any of the sisters. Cynthia grasps your arm and whispers to you. Her eyes are wide and blue, her hair is wild and tangled. Bats might nest in it. It seems to you that you're sitting on a hillside above a wide blue lake, listening to the story of a murder, an ax, a net, blood on cindered water. Another chop? Cynthia asks, you barely touched your food. Here, I'll have the maid wrap something up for you. You can't be hungry. It's not safe to be hungry. It's watching you, even if it even exists. Your gods of the sea, salt's attention quality has changed. Iron remains unchanged. I now have an extra tale of terror. We've gained one terror. We've gained one supply. That's all for now. Not receiving makes it clear the series of unwelcoming growls that Phoebe, Lucy, and Cynthia are indisposed. No more lunch. Uh, so re let's reconnoitre. Recontra? I don't... <laughs> this, this game feels a little bit pretentious. Like, I'm a pretty... Uh, I have a pretty good vocabulary, but they're using a lot of words that it's like, really? Is that even a real word? Or are you just making shit up? Uh, plunging cliffs, soft green lawns, well tucked away, folded grounds, anything else? Let's go ahead and explore. Why not say explore? Why use a big word when you can use a small word? Ships rarely come here, nothing changes, even the weather. The house is the heart of the isle, the house and the sisters, but the Admiralty may be happy to know that nothing has changed at least. You now have a port report. God damn it. I don't like that terminology a port report low barnett Is this advice for captains? If we do this, is this just gonna take us? This is all just part of of New London, yeah. So 
So I'm not really sure what all this right here is about. Oh, Jesus, I just noticed. I'm not capturing my mouse at all. <laughs> Prick finger wastes. So we'll just kind of go up the coast here. Uh, what was that? Sickly yellow light. Your prior light can be turned off. Makes you more visible to enemies. Is this a bad area? Discovered Harper's Ferry. Okay, I don't... I don't really like this. Why is the logbook... Why is the logbook so goddamn small? And when you scroll, it skips half the damn thing. Nope. Arrow keys do not work. You've gained a secret. Speak to your officers to improve your abilities. Stop talking. I'm trying to figure out what the hell's going on here. <laughs> Carissa's point... increasing. Prowlight can be turned on or off. Yeah, I know that. Discovered Hornsman Stag. What is this? That's like just staying right off of... Come on. Okay, here we go. Uh, you've encountered an opponent. The red arc shows the range of your deck gun. Keep the enemy in range while your crew works out a firing solution. This will happen faster if you keep the enemy in your prow light. The deck gun will be highlighted as your crew makes progress towards a firing solution. So that's like a crab here. Hello. What? Why did this open? Uh, a chunk of grit baked in your ship's biscuit. What? You crack a tooth and curse. Oh, this is just something that happens? I'm in the middle of a fight. Should I really be eating a biscuit right now? Your crew chuckle, but when the object turns out to be a diamond, they all hush. Uh, diamonds are sacred to stone. Give it to the sea, Captain. It'll be luck for us. Captains are sacred to the stone? You're not going to throw a diamond in the sea to appease some nameless god of sailor superstitions. Do the careful thing. Okay, sure, let's throw it off. Uh, you've lost three terror. You now have the gods of the sea stone's attention. Uh, you know something of the three gods of the sea. See, and that's also confusing, because the name of the game is Sunless Sea. So the fact that they keep calling it a Z is confusing. Okay. Fire. Yeah. Okay. Defeat your opponent move to the site of their demise. Tanachuk. So the Megalops defeated. With a forlorn will and cry, the Megalops turns on its back, legs neatly folded with bluish blood. Yeah, it looked, its blood looked really red to me, guys. Uh, <laughs> its golden glow begins to dim. Butcher it for supplies, dissect it for knowledge. We're gonna go for knowledge. You set to work with your knives and acids. It is an undistinguishable, uh, undistinguished adolescent specimen, a megalops, of one of the deep sea crab species. But its eyes, normally vestigial in those troglod <laughs> troglodytic beasts, are large and rather beautiful. The golden glow is almost gone now, though. Although your sparks leap now and then to your knife. 
Okay, I don't know what that means. The golden glow is almost gone now. Apparently it had a golden glow. Uh, although sparks leap now and then to your knife. Now and then. Now and then sparks leap to your knife. So I got one fragment. Uh, and I succeeded the pages challenge. So none of these are ports. My hunger is getting up there. Fed the crew. So that's when I feed it. Oh, all clear. What is this little swirl here? Nothing, apparently. Let's go back over here. There's another little light. This is a dock for Vendorbright. And then I was going, I was coming to Vendorbright, wasn't I? Oh, oh. So, Gazetteer. Okay, apparently there's no shortcut key just to bring up straight to the journal. Um, so I'm trying, my objectives are... They want to come to Vendorbright. Uh, and the Admiralty wants us to find Gators Morn and the Corsairs Forest. Some are not far from home waters. I don't know relativistic distances here. But we know we found Vendorbright. Alright. Trouble with tomb colonists. You brought them... You've brought this decaying immigrant north. Now what? One last fight. Your passenger has been drinking. Ahoy. She chortles. <laughs> Defend yourself. She launches a tipsy assault. Your crew hang back, chuckling. Thanks, crew. So it's a straightforward. We have a 100% chance of success. An effortless defense. Tomb colonists have a lifetime of bitter experience. Some of them are the deadliest combatants under the earth. Possibly this one is when she hasn't drunk quite so much rum. You never know. She salutes you, laughing after you disarm her. Good fight. She opines. See, pretentious, you don't need to use these words. <laughs> this is something that bugs me as a writer, is when people... There's no reason you couldn't say she exclaims. She... she she says i mean like or just good fight that's it you don't even need to say she does anything here uh staggers backwards and falls over the side what you never do find out what happened to her but at least you have her rather magnificently calver <laughs> sable and her belongings wait she fell off the side of the boat into the sea, or she fell off into the port? So we got her all the way here, and then she died? It's not very clear. Alright. Tomb Colony of Vendorbright. Uh... <sighs> All right, people, uh, we're actually going to call it quits there. Um, I tell you what I'm going to do with this is I'm actually going to, I'm going to, I don't know. Uh, I might end up just putting up this one episode or I might record a second. But uh, we'll certainly have to see how that all goes. So thanks everybody for watching. Uh, check out some of my other Let's Tries from weeks past. Or, uh, you know, check out my my Game of Thrones series, check out my XCOM series. I'm actually asking for user participation in the XCOM series. But uh, otherwise, I hope you all have a good day, and thank you for watching.